Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy TJ Pedro and I'm back with another video and Dellen Betances, former New York Yankee now, has officially signed a one year deal with the New York Mets. Now the way this deal is constructed is a little weird. So it's a it's two years technically 13.5 if he triggers the option for 2021 meaning it's basically a one and one he has this year and then has the option to get his money again or enter the free agent waters again this is a this is sad news for me as he was one of my favorite relievers on this team. And it's tough to see him go. He was so good for so long. And last year he had a brutal injury. And I guess all these teams are looking at it like, how are you going to come back from a torn Achilles and pitch? So who knows? Maybe there is a reunion between us and Dellen. But last year he only appeared in like 12 games in the regular season. Or no. Not 12. That was, that was Stanton. He only appeared in two. And tore his Achilles in the second game. That was... That just was... That, that was not fun to watch. You felt bad for him the whole way. You knew he was battling to get back into the show. Had some setbacks in, in uh, rehab. Finally gets to, uh, gets to the Yankees and... Bang, tears his Achilles. But with the amount of time he spent here, he spent more amount of time here than I think Didi did. That that says a lot. So thank you, Dellen, for all you've done for this team. Hopefully someday we can have a reunion. Have good luck with the Mets and yeah, that's it for me talking about the Yankees portion of it. Now let's talk about the Mets. What does this do for their team? Now, it all depends on how he comes back from his injury. But let's just say he comes back and he's back to Dell and Betances. This gives the Mets something they haven't had in about, I can't remember the last time they've had this, a stable bullpen piece. Last year, they were supposed to have a stable bullpen piece in Diaz. But he went out and he blew a shit ton of saves. And now, we don't know what he's coming back to. So right now, they have two big bullpen pieces that have two big question marks. Can Diaz handle the New York pressure? And Dellen, we already know he can handle it. But, can he come back from this brutal ass injury? Because that's a major injury. A torn Achilles. And I don't know which leg it's on. But either way. Even if it's a, if it's a push off leg or his landing leg. That, that affects a pitcher. Substantially. So let's hope he comes back to form. This Mets team. If, this, if Diaz can go back to Seattle Mariners. Edwin Diaz. And Dellen Betances can be the Dellen Betances. As he was for my Yankees. This bullpen could. Lead this team. They have DeGrom. They have Cindergaard. They have uh, Stroman. They have an okay. They have a good pitching core. Their bullpen is what is what's killed them. The past three to four years. This could get them over the hump. Maybe to a wild card team. If both those guys come back. And are back to their normal form. Again those are big questions you have to answer. But if they are answered. I'd say this is a sleeper pick to make the postseason. But anyways guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. About this signing. And what you think other players are going to sign in the future. Give me your predictions there. Like the video if you enjoyed. I be I do these all the time when players sign, so you don't want to miss another one. So to stay up, 
stay updated on the MLB offseason, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and click all so you never miss another one of these updates. And I guess I'm out of here. Peace.